Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching and welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Jess and I post a couple of videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Sunday on beauty, lifestyle, fashion and I also do a little bit of vlogs if you are into that type of thing. I love watching vlogs. But today's video is a beauty video and I wanted to share with you guys or kind of taste it with you on camera. So. If you have been an OG subscriber, welcome of course. Um, I have been loving the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and you guys see me use this in my videos all the time. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I mention this all the time as well when I do kind of like get ready with me's and I mention this in my Instagram posts because it genuinely is that good. I, you know, find myself gravitating towards this concealer and grabbing this concealer all the time because it's just so good. And the main things that I like about this concealer is it's huge, first of all. I mean, the average concealers don't come in a tube this big. I love the applicator. I love the um, shade availability within the range. I think that's awesome. And I also feel like it's full coverage without a doubt, but it doesn't make you look cakey and it looks amazing in photos and it doesn't have flashback or anything like that. And a little goes a long way, so this will last you quite some time. But I have heard that the Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild can be a dupe. I don't know, we're gonna have to test it out in this video. So I got two shades to try and kind of put the Tarte Shape Tape on the one side and the Wet n Wild on the other side. So I'm gonna go on my phone and just read to you some, you know, things from the Tarte Shape Tape and some things from the Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild. So firstly, Tarte Shape Tape comes in, you get from the lightest to the lightest to the darkest and some of them have like yellow undertones, some of them have pinky undertones, some of them have pale undertones. I just love the shade range within this concealer brand or this type of concealer. So according to Tarte Shade Tape, it's America's number one concealer. Now if that doesn't want to make you buy a concealer, I don't know what is. It's full coverage, flawless matte finish. You don't have to set it with a powder but I do a little bit under the eyes. It conceals all imperfections. It's creamy and easy to blend. Absolutely, it is. Um, it, uh, it nourishes with mango seed and shea butters. It helps illuminate skin for a lifted effect. And that, it really does. If you have like, you know you have those bags under your eyes that kind of like sink in, it really does lift the eyes, especially if you put like a little bit of an orange concealer underneath perfect and it will literally just smooth out the entire skin so the price of this is 370 rand for my south african viewers and if you go on ulta it's 27 dollars so it is a little bit pricey but as i mentioned it does last quite some time but the wet and wild photo focus on the other hand let's read a little bit on this one it comes in six shades which is a little bit disappointing um i personally struggle to find a shade because i honestly feel that this one is a little bit too pink i don't know and this one is a little bit too tan so that's why i bought them so i can kind of if one or the other doesn't work i can always mix them and it's so cheap you guys it's literally 55 rand three dollars 99 cents it's insane like it's literally with price, you can't compare it. So if this one performs better than this one, it's it literally, you cannot compare it. Um, okay, so let's read a little bit about the photo focus. It doesn't say much, to be 100% honest. It just says, let your natural beauty shine with our selfie-tested, creamy and luminous concealer. Um, tested to be white cast-free and under seven different photo lighting conditions hmm. goodbye photo flashback so i guess that's where they get the name from the photo focus to be beautiful in pictures i guess that's that's the whole um reason behind the naming um it works outdoors indoors electric ele bleh, i can't speak electronic flash fluorescent light bathroom light nightclub light so it works under seven conditions with 
top smartphone models and cameras. So that is very, very interesting. Okay, so packaging. Let's just look at the size of the two tubes. So the Tarte Shape Tape is a 10 mil 0.3381 fluid ounce where the Wet n Wild is a 0.29 fluid ounce. So the size is very, very close. It honestly is. I just think the Tarte Shape Tape looks a lot bigger. I don't know, that's maybe just me. Okay, but that's the packaging. The Tarte Shape Tape is a lot cuter in packaging, obviously. Um, the applicator one obviously has a huge difference. I mean, I love the Tarte Shape Tape applicator just because it's so big. It's so easy just to put one little dot under the eye and kind of just place it where you want to. Whereas this, um, it's a little bit too small. I kind of prefer the bigger applicator in terms of application. Okay, so I've moved you a little bit closer so we can test these out in full force. I have foundation on my skin. I did use my normal skincare products underneath as well as a primer just for some extra hydration because it is winter here in South Africa and I just want to make sure that my skin is hydrated and then I also did a little bit of brows and that's it. I didn't do anything else. So let's do the one eye with the Tarte Shape Tape. I think I'm going to do the left eye and apply but as I normally do I kind of do this is gonna be hard okay I'm gonna do the forehead with a tart shape tape and then I'll do the chin with the photo focus I think the light ivory will be kind of like a perfect match against the tart shape tape so you see there immediately I literally did like three sweeps and my entire eye was covered where you kind of have to go with this one. But I mean, that's not a major factor. Okay, so as you can see, with the Tarte Shape Tape, I literally didn't go back in with the product or with the wand into the tube. Whereas this is just one little, you know, dollop of the concealer on the applicator. So I have to go back once more to kind of fill out this bottom part and for my chin as well I'm gonna go around my mouth as well I did some pimple popping so please excuse that okay I don't know how we're gonna do the nose to be honest okay I'm gonna do a little bit of the photo focus in the front and a little bit of the tart at the back to blend it out, I honestly prefer a beauty blender, beauty sponge. I dampen it a little bit so it doesn't soak up excess of the product. So I'm going to use the one side with the Tarte Shape Tape and the foco uh, photo focus on the other side. So I like to start at the bottom and just blend it up. So I'll speed this pot up for you guys. And then I'll go ahead and blend the photo focus. With both of these concealers, it's actually surprising how little of the product gets soaked up into the beauty sponge. And if I come a bit closer and show you, the product dries up a little bit. So it's kind of as if it's acting as a barrier against the damp beauty blender so it gives you like a smooth blending opportunity but doesn't soak up a lot of your product I actually feel like I need to go back with a little bit more of the photo focus because it's as if it's not as thick but it's very very close I'm not gonna lie I wanted to show you what the concealer looks like up close so super super up close this is the Tarte Shape Tape and this is the Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild. So I am going to do a little bit of powder, some bronzer, some blush, a little bit of mascara and just some lip gloss just to keep it very simple. I am going to show you how I finish it off with setting spray and then I'll also show you in different lighting as well. But this is what Tarte Shape Tape looks like and this is a photo focus from wet and wild 
So I think both of them performed pretty well. I must be completely honest with you. Um, I can barely tell a difference. We'll have to see. Okay, so this is the finished look. Tarte Shape Tape and Photo Focus. I did some bronzer. As you saw, I did some powder. Just like in my T-zone, I finished off my brows and my eyes and I just did some lip gloss. I do want to set it with some setting spray. So I'm using the Urban Decay Quick Fix. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this. A little bit. Such an understatement. And then what I like to do is just press everything in. I just really like the way my makeup looks once I've done this. Okay, so I am currently sitting in front of a ring light. I have a soft box on this side. I have a huge window on this side and then a huge window on this side. So it's kind of like a combination between natural and artificial lighting. So I wanted to show you guys what these concealers looks like in natural and direct sunlight. So natural lighting and then direct sunlight because I mean we are all exposed to different types of lighting and you want to know if your concealer looks good outdoors just as it does indoors. So I'm going to taste that for you guys in a second but before we do I actually want to take a photo because both of these concealers market themselves as being the best photo selfie non-flashback concealer. So I want to taste that out. So I'm going to put my flash on and then take a sneaky little photo. Oops. Okay. You guys, I'm pretty impressed. Not the best selfie, but I'm going to show you what it looks like over here. No flashback. My skin looks beautiful, beautifully highlighted. I love it. So I'm going to do a little bit of a, you know, finger cross cross moment um i am going to take a photo tonight of what it looks like in dark kind of like club lighting um because we're gonna have drinks with our friends so i will take a photo and then i'll put it here so fingers crossed that it lo uh, looks good but obviously you guys will see whether it has flashback or not um but let me take you in to <laughs> Some natural lighting and some sunlight. This is what the concealer looks like in natural light. I'm just standing in front of my window in my bedroom and I have no artificial lighting. It is around one o'clock so the sun is at its highest ish um, and the sun is very very harsh. So let me see what this concealer looks like in the sun. Mm -hmm. Okay so it's super super harsh sunlight this is whoo that's bright you guys this is what the concealer looks like in the sunlight my eyes are gonna water Woo! hey you guys so i just got home it's literally half past 12 i'm so tired i just want to take a shower and wash this makeup off but before I do that, I wanted to check in with you guys and let you know my thoughts on the Photo Focus Concealer from Wet n Wild. I honestly think it's a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. So if you have been in the market for Tarte Shape Tape and you want to kind of like test it out but not spend a lot of money, I would honestly recommend the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. I mean, in the light... This is just like bedroom lighting. Um, I honestly cannot tell a difference. I didn't get oily, just a little bit over here. Um, you guys, I love this. It's, it's such a good concealer, both of them. Honestly, thumbs up for both of these concealers and thumbs up if you liked this video, I would love to hear you hear from you in the comments if um, you enjoyed this video and also if you have like any other recommendations. I would love to try something else and do another wear test. So let me know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, please do and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!